Okay, this is Temple OS 5-Minute Random Code Walkthrough, episode 56, and I'm your host, Terry Davis. Here we go, let's all be. And we are in the Sprite Editor uh, menu. So, uh, rather than uh, explain another, how another, oh, I'll explain, okay. Anyway, uh, so hit Control R, then make sprite, um, then uh, you can do a couple, you can do a couple lines. <laughs> anyway, uh, now you go to the sprite edit menu. This is, uh, this is the menu, you can, can you see it down here? Uh, click for help, uh, shift points, shift points with rectangle, edit as text, transform. Um, anyway, so shift points. So shift points lets you move individual points. Uh, shift points with rectangle. Now we can draw a rectangle around and then move a bunch of points. Now there's a little tip if you if you press R well if you press I think if you press P then it'll move a point if you press R then it'll draw a rectangle so you can anyway I don't know if that's very useful edit as text okay now we have point anyway you can edit as text um, maybe we want to, uh, well, anyway, uh, transform. Now, let's say you want to, scaling is, uh, let's say, multiply by 2. There's no Z, but I might as well say Z. Now, let's say, uh, transform. Now, let's rotate it 90 degrees. That's around the Z axis. The Z comes out of the screen. So, 90 degrees. Uh, now let's do transform. Let's do, uh, I think it's off the screen. Where is it? Uh, you rotated 90 degrees. It's got to be around there somewhere. Where did it go? Let's rotate it back. Let's rotate it back minus ninety. See what happens. Um, exit sprite. Let's okay. Let's try that again. Control R. Let's uh, let's shift it. Sprite edit menu. Shift origin. Now you grab it and then move it. Now let's rotate it ninety degrees. Transform. Let's rotate it nine. I, I don't know what's positive anyway. Okay, so now it's over here. So let's add to the X and Y transform. Now let's add. Uh, let's add two hundred to the X, and let's add two hundred to the Y. Oops, that's that's rotating. We don't want to do that. 200 okay now uh, you can uh, set the origin let's put the origin right in the center okay now if we exit um, the sprite is right is the center is the origin uh, or we can shift the origin that's you grab and move it or Insert sub origin. Now that's I'm not even going to tell you what that is. It's pretty silly. Anyway, we can uh, pick or delete objects graphically. Um, so uh, I'm going to delete this line. So I hold down D and then I click. Okay. Now I'm going to um, pick. I'm going to pick a, an element. Let's say I want to know which one this is. So I click, oops, so I click, 
Now the one that's highlighted, the, the, the current entry is that one. Delete, this just uh, deletes the, the red one. Okay, now uh, insert clipboard sprite. Well anyway, so uh, that's what that menu is. Um, I can tell you about, uh, there's a sidebar uh, sprite that has to be, uh, um, when we, uh, when we're at that menu, the, the sidebar, you, you saw what that was, am I right? So if we go to the sidebar is the, this uh, sidebar over here. So uh, um, so that has to be handled in this menu code. So we do a pop-up sprite sidebar task. We pass it some parameters. That makes a new task. And uh, uh, this converts um, this converts the uh, sidebar items back into uh, into text when we're done. So each each time you do a menu selection, it runs this, and it it updates every time you. Uh, Every time you do a selection, it updates the, the the sprite based on what it finds in the sidebar. Anyway, so how about that?